Yeah, give me Jin Ho. Go on, boy. This is me, Cruelback, again with a narration video on this channel, and today we have Pentagon with their comeback called Feeling Like. And yeah, I'm a big, big Pentagon fan. I really love their music so, so, so much. And I, I wouldn't consider myself a universe quite yet because I don't 100% can tell the members apart. Uh, sometimes I am good, sometimes I'm bad. I'm not really keeping up my practice, so I'm kind of slacking. But um, I, sh I mean, I, I could easily learn them. Um, I once was at a point where I could tell them apart pretty easily. So I kind of am just slacking. But without telling members apart, I wouldn't consider myself part of the fandom. Anyway, I love the music so much. They never disappoint. Never. So I'm sure this is great. And I've heard insanely good things about the B-sides, especially a song called The Game. So um, I'm excited to listen to the album as well. If you want to see more of my Pentagon versions, there's a playlist in the pinned comment. And let's begin with Feeling Like by Pentagon. Without our leader, Hui, but it's fine. Jin is back, I mean vocal. And Hui will be back soon, right? So. Oh, they look clean. That's how that is, okay. The transition from Pool to Apple. Is that Yuto? Oh. Is it Yuto? Actually, not sure. Actually, no, it's Hong Sok, right? I see him. That beat drop. That's vibey. Ooh. This gives me SF9 vibes a little bit. Who's yeah, yeah, yeah. no. This is right? With his voice. Hey, who's up? The blue hair. Dude, why does Usok look so fine with the glasses on though? He do be looking quite older than he is, but that's not a bad thing here, man. Like, I can see a lot of fangirls fangirling about that look. Jesus. Oh, Black said high not my back. God, I think I... I do believe this is Hangsak, but whoever it is, it looks absolutely amazing on him. The curly hair. This looks really good. There's some really nice pool balls. It's a genuine center. <laughs> Okay, now that we've heard it a second time, I, it's not as hype, of course, it's not a hype chorus, it's a very laid back type of chorus, it, it kind of feels like it's building up to a post chorus that is pretty, like, fun and, like, upbeat, but it's not really doing that, so that's interesting, let's see, it's a pretty short song though, let's see what happens in the last chorus, I could see them adding, like, an outro onto the chorus, so it creates almost a post chorus, but only used once at the end of the song. Because it feels like something is missing there at the end of the chorus. It feels a bit short if that's... Yeah, I think that's it. Not sure yet about the song. What's still going on with the beat here? Oh, that growl. Oh, the... Is this a motorcycle? <laughs> Wrapped in aluminium. <laughs> ah. Okay. Hey. That was different. Oh, vocal time. Yeah, give me Jin Ho. 
Kom op, boy. Oh, I'm feeling this one more now. For some reason, the outfits are great. Wow. They're really feeling themselves. That's that's fitting. This is the end. Wow, that's really short. Yo, they, they straight up have no post chorus, so that's interesting. They could have done that, and the song would be like, like if they had a post chorus for the first and second chorus, and maybe like an epic climax at the end of the third chorus here, the song would probably be like 320, 330 long, which is normal song length. Like maybe a little bit above average, but no, not really. It's pretty normal. But 250 is really short. That's, it's actually really short. Okay, that is very, definitely some kind of atypical song. You could definitely say um, very laid back, cool style in the chorus. And then that rap bridge that we had, the instrumental went completely crazy. It was like super metallic and like, I don't know, like distorted and like everything. It was super edgy. No, not edgy, really. How do you say? It felt very sci science fiction esque. Compared to the rest of the song's instrumental, I like the visuals of this music video. Like it's a it's a pretty simple music video set up in terms of like there's not many locations or anything. It's, it's pretty simple filmed, but I do like the color scheme. I like the blue purple kind of color scheme. Um, pretty nice colors. We're also kind of in water. I just noticed that. Yeah, that makes sense with the blue. But yeah, I, I didn't notice that earlier. <laughs> also, I like the outfits a lot. They look fine. They look so fine. This has to be one of the most fine Pentagon errors, right? They don't usually dress up that much. They have like their wild concepts a lot. They have like very distinct concepts. So having them like in suits and everything is pretty new to me at least. I'm not sure if that happened like years ago already once, but I can't remember. So this seems pretty new. Definitely a song that made me feel like it's more an SF9 type of song. It didn't feel much like a Pentagon title drag. I have to say that. So it's a bit new. I'm not sure that's like a bad or a good thing yet because I can't really judge the song based on one listen. But um, I did enjoy myself, so that's okay. I don't think this is a, a title track, though, that draws in new fans to Pentagon. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. It's just kind of a hunch I have. It's not as flashy and like wowing as Daisy was or as Dr. Baby was. Or even a shine or shalana, it's not as you know instantly grabbing you. So people watching this will be like, okay, maybe I need to listen to it another time again. But then maybe they forget about it, right? That can happen. So I'm a bit afraid of that. But I do believe the album is probably gonna be banger. I've heard good things about it, so it has to be right. So anyway, that is my reaction to Pentagon. We're feeling like let me know your opinion on this song in the comments. I'm really interested in this one in particular because. They are one of my favorite boy groups, and I also think that I might have a kind of skewed opinion about the song. I feel like I'm kind of the majority with, you know, not inherently loving this. I'm not sure, uh, minority. Did I say majority? I'm not sure. Um, I'm in a minority, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I'm not sure why that is, really. It's not a bad song, per se, at all. It just didn't really get me much. But hey, I I'm here for the boys, man. I'm gonna support them. I'm gonna stream them. So that's all that matters really to me, you know. I'm gonna be as best of a universe I can be without taking the faces apart. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much and have a nice day. Peace.